In this episode of Automotor Answers, we are going to revisit the Collision Active error message. We say revisit because many of you have watched our previous video about the Collision Active error message, where we gave you the information about swapping out your original style magnet holder that was black to the new white version with more clearance. Some of you have switched out your magnet holder in the cover of your automower and are experiencing this error message again and might un not understand why or what can be done about this or what you should look for. So we're going to show you today. So just like in our previous video, where you have to start is by flipping the mower over, pulling out the grommets underneath with the wires running through them, and unplugging your wires that go to your top cover that are connected to the automower. Then you need to pull the top cover off of the automower. If you're unsure how to remove the upper cover of your automower, just give it a pull. It simply unsnaps from the chassis of the automower and is only held on by grommets to the four joystick sensors on the automower. So now that you've got your automower down to this, what you want to look for is at the front of the automower. You want to look for an indentation right above the nose piece here in the center. If you have the new style white magnet holder in your automower, and you notice that you have a lot of rubbing here in the center area of your upper chassis, or there's actually a groove worn in there, then this time around you're going to have to do more than just replace that magnet holder. What is happening is your lift sensors, the two joystick sensors in the front of the mower, have become weak. There's a spring in there, and the upper cover of your automower is not being held up enough from the, the upper chassis of the automower, and it's allowing that magnet holder to rub on there, which ends up rubbing through, the magnet falls out, or you're constantly getting the mower twisting a little bit, or you know, just getting in certain areas and setting off that collision active message or lifted message when it shouldn't be. So to replace these two front joystick sensors, what you have to do is split the mower open. You have to remove the upper chassis from the lower chassis. If your mower is still under warranty, you have to break that label on there, the warranty seal. So this is something you would probably want to take to your dealer and get covered under warranty. Um, if you're out of warranty, then hey, you've got nothing to worry about. You can do the repair on your own and no issues. So now that you've got the two pieces of your chassis split apart, this is what the upper chassis will look like inside. And this is what you're going to be working at. Right here are your two joystick sensors that you're going to replace. To get these out, all you have to do is remove the three screws on each joystick sensor right here. The whole thing pops out. It's one unit to replace it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now, the issue is that your spring in there is probably just weak or collapsed. Um, you can't buy just a spring, and that's why you have to do the entire unit. This is the joystick kit right here. One piece in there, so that's one joystick, one complete joystick unit right there in that box. That is the current part number. Um, you're going to have to order two of these because there's no sense in replacing just one. You don't know if it's just one that's weak or two that's weak, but chances are if one's weak, they're both weak, or the other one will be showing issues very soon. So just replace both of them at the same time. These are for the 430X, 450X. I believe they'll fit on the 500 series, and they will also fit on the 430X and 450X high cut models. This is what the complete joystick sensor looks like. The spring is actually inside this collapsible rubber boot. You can see there's a circuit board on the bottom and there's a pin there that goes through the center of it that kind of regulates how far up and down the sensor can collapse and how much travel it has. You also notice maybe on some of your older ones that where that pin hits the bottom and stops, it has worn down into the plastic a little bit, which also allows it to go further down than what it should be. And that allows for your clearance issue between your magnet holder and your upper chassis as well. So you just slip that whole joystick sensor in from the top, fasten it down with the three screws that you took out to be able to remove the old one and uh, connect your wires and you're good to go. Now, since you split this mower apart, make sure you put in a new foam seal between the upper and lower chassis so you don't get any moisture or anything in there or any other stuff that shouldn't be in there. Um, and you're good to go you're ready to get this thing back out and running. If you're looking for these parts to do this repair for your automower, be sure to check out in the description below. We always have some information there about some places you can contact to get the parts and information you need for your automowers. Uh, it's going to do it for this episode of Automower Answers. Hopefully you learned something or you can at least save some money on your repair. Um, now you can tackle it by yourself if you don't have that warranty coverage left anymore. So, 
Be sure to drop us some comments there. If you like our channel, make sure to subscribe to it because we're always putting out new videos and new information all the time. Uh, thank you all for watching and we'll be talking to you soon.